Hello my subscribers and guests, I'm not camping, it's just your illusion. And this is my copy of my camper, which I built last year. I'm not camping because it's too cold outside. It's Michigan and cold and snowy day. Lots of my subscribers ask me if I'm done with camping. Yes, I'm done with camping, but only for 2021 season. 2022 season I'm taking very seriously, I'm getting ready. And I bought some stuff I'm gonna show you later in my video. So yes, I'm right now in a sleep mode. And Gonna wait approximately uh, end of March, April, and we'll go camping again. So stay tuned. My new camping videos I will release as usually every other week, starting somewhere in the middle of April. One of my new innovation for next camping season, actually this year soon. This is a new anchor system for my kayak. Anchor itself, I think it's a one pound. Yep, one pound anchor and floatable device. Why floatable device? Because last year I lost my anchor because <laughs> I just lost it. It's drowned. So anyway, how it's gonna work? As you can see, it's sliding all the way up and down. Gonna hook up my anchor, and as much as I need, as deep goes in bottom, I drop it. And depend of wind, I can regulate it. And if wind from front, I'm going to close to nose and it's going to be against the wind. So I always will have my directions way I need it or I want it. That's it. Another my innovation for kayak is stationary umbrella. If you saw my previous videos, especially last year, when I got in a very heavy rain. totally wet. It was summer, it was warm, but eh, you don't want to be wet when you're fishing. So I have umbrella. It's adjustable angle. Anyway, So it's gonna be now comfortable even under rain. I totally cover my back, my front. That's it. I'm safe from rain. I use just PVC pipes and angle. 
An umbrella itself is called if you google it you can buy it I don't know how much it costs now but it wasn't too much it can adjustable one two and three ways also you can rotate it you can rotate 180 So much about kayak innovation. Many of you ask what I do with my battery. If I keep it at home or it, I'll leave a trailer. No, I, or every year I bring to my basement and keep in the basement using two solar panels. It's constantly charging, well, except uh, night time. Just take a look. This is two solar panel, 1.5 watt each, and it gives me 13.67 volt. So it's charging, constantly charging, except again night time. And of course, I keep my battery for my generator in the basement too here another my purchase for this season is coming up it's a new electrical heater it's a digital and it's a very very quiet whisper quiet can you hear it barely Another my purchase, it's another knife. It's a hunting knife, LL Beam. Sorry, B LL Beam. So, what I did, I laser engrave it. Can you see it? From both sides, it's a solar camping. And also, I have another knife, my son gave it to me last year, it's a K-bar. And also, I engrave it this year, you can see, engrave it, says solar camping, both sides. So I have two knives, 7 inch K bar and LA bin 5 inches in case. Another item I want to show you. It's a super large insulation insulated lunch bag. And it can fit 26 cans or 2.3 liters inside. It has lots of pockets, side pocket, all insulated. Another side pocket. Bunch of pockets. And the back. Another pocket. And the top insulated area. Another pocket. And main area is back itself. Why I want to show it to you? Because one of my sponsors gave it to me. Give it to me to promote this bag. 
and it's free to keep it so that's why I'm doing this you can buy it on Amazon and a link I'm gonna put it below uh, it has 6.3 reviews 4.5 average so my review is I cannot give more than 5 but I'll, I'll give 6 why 6? because one extra for free <laughs> because it's free so it's another item handle you can put on your shoulder it's awesome awesome bag so you, as you can see here is a 6.3 review good review it's a 59.99 so 60 dollars free shipping anyway I think it's worth it it's worth it for me One more item I would like to show you is a, a hand step winch or trailer winch. There's a ratchet. How it works. So why do I need it? I bought a generator. I already book couple campsites. What is called boondocking or rustic area. And my generator is kind of heavy. It's a Predator. Uh, I think it's a 2500 uh, watts very powerful it can run air condition and all appliances inside but it's heavy it's weight about 100 pounds so it's kind of heavy for me to lift it and on my truck so i will use this kind of device to lift it and lower it so now in a minute i'm gonna show you my generator in my garage so this is my generator inverter 2500 peak time or 3000 uh, running time as I said before, it's very heavy, it's a hundred pounds, so I barely can lift it, I need to lift probably over my knees to load it to my truck. That's why I need that uh, hand winch. And that's it, it's the last item I want to show you. It's again super quiet. I believe it's a 56 decibel only. It has two modes. It has two modes. Regular one and echo. Two outlets, one twenty. Trailer outlet. And 12 volts, and also it has a uh, auto start. It's a battery operated start, or oh, it could, could be manual too. Here is a handle. I will review it later in my first trip when I go rustic area. If you guys have any questions what I just show you in this video, please don't hesitate to ask me. Any questions I will try to answer. Uh, Pete K is one of my subscribers. If you watching me, I'm sorry, no cooking this video. <laughs> 
But I promise you, somewhere in April, I will cook, I will cook some nice, uh, delicious dish again. You will see it. <laughs> All right, guys. Please, if you like it, thumbs up. And I will see you in a, somewhere in middle April again. Watch for my coming videos.